Okay, everybody. Um, don't know if you can like, see me, that, but um, today I'm going to teach you how to make a tube cup tutorial, and it'll look like this. But um, this is the actual cuff I'll be teaching you how to make. Um, and I'm going to make an opening segment. Um, how to make like a diagonal multi. If you already know how to do that, then I will like tell you a time point in the video to like skip to if you want to skip that. And um, yeah, but what you'll need is. Um, one color, like, one doesn't matter what color it is, and then you need another color, doesn't matter what color it is, it could be two colors, because I'm going to teach you how to do two colors to kind of, like, not confuse you, but I have done one with four, um, but I will be teaching you how to do one with two colors, so you'll need two colors, if you're doing two colors, and scissors, and string. And I'm just using the seven millimeter. And yeah. Um in the video I like stumble over words a lot because this is my first tutorial and yeah. So please bear with me and um comment or quite if I heck you have a question about something that I'm not clear on, and you can just ask and I'll try and answer it. Um, other than that, I hope you enjoy the tutorial, and I hope that you um, know how to make a tube cup after watching this. Um, I'm also filming on my whiteboard, so you can see the colors better. So hopefully that helps. So I hope you know how to make a tube cup after this, and... Okay guys, so I am going to make a tube cuff tutorial, and um, yeah, so first you will need to um, get however many beads that you would use to make a regular multi-stitch cuff. Okay, so I lined up um, the colors that I'm using right here. Um, to make a, um, single for, to start. Um, I'm using red and purple. And whenever I make my single, I do it in increments of two to make the, um, to begin making the multi-diagonal pattern, if you know what I mean. And the reason why I do that is because whenever you make the actual tube cuff, it gives it the swirly look and like this is kind of what I meant as far as like the swirly look how it goes diagonal and kind of swirls into the inside I guess you could say so yeah I'm going to make the single and I'll be right back okay so here I just made the single it's just too red too purple too red too purple all the way around um, and you can make it whatever color you want. It doesn't have to be a specific color. I'm just using these colors because I'm making this one for a trade. Um, but if you want to, you could even use like four colors. It doesn't really matter. Just as long as you have like an even amount of the color going around. So here I just made the single. Now I'm going to make the diagonal multi-stitch and if you don't know how to make that then I will sort of teach you a little bit of it I won't show you how to do it all the way because there's other tutorials for that I'm pretty sure but this is my first tutorial so here we go okay so um for starters make sure that like because I tied off my string right here but I wove my string through these two beads so my string is coming out of this red, like this group of red right here, and I'm going to put a red on top of this purple. So I'm going to weave the string through this purple bead. 
so I wove my string through that purple bead, and it doesn't really look like it now, but it'll make a diagonal. Now, um, my string is coming out of this purple bead, and I'm going to string on a purple bead. And then I'm going to go through this second red bead. So as you can see, you can sort of see a diagonal forming. And then next I'm going to string on a red bead that sits on top of this purple bead. And then string it through this purple bead right here, the second one. And then I'm going to string on another purple that'll sit on top of this red and string my string through this red. We'll do it all the way around. I am stringing on my last couple of beads. And... Hang on a second. And then should have something that looks a little bit like this. Sorry, it's like folded. Okay, so I finished my row all the way around. And my string ended up right here out of this red bead. Depending on whatever color you have, you'll end up in the same place. Now I'm just going to string my string string my string through this red bead up here at the top. So I'm just going to do that real quick on here. And So now I can start my next row. It may look really loose. You'll just have to pull tight as you go. But I'm just going to do my red bead. String through this purple bead. String on a purple bead. String through this red bead. String on a red bead. And string through this purple bead. And do that all the way around. So I started my second row. And as you can see, it's looking more diagonal. And... I was thinking if you got lost and didn't know what color to string on next, just look at what color your string is coming out of right now. So for me, the next bead I would string on would be purple because my string is coming out of a purple bead. And But if I was coming out of this red bead, I would know to string on a red bead, if you can see what I mean. So just do the second row all the way around. Okay, so here I finished my multi. Um, just keep on doing the pattern that I showed you all the way around until you get about six um, beads in one diagonal. And then if you look at it, there will be three beads in each vertical um, row. So if you are just now jumping to this part of the video, make sure you have a multi that is six beads um, diagonal. Now I will teach you how to um, make it into the circular tube part. Okay, so first you're going to take your string, and you can leave it on the um, spool, I guess you could say. You can leave it on the spool. So just take your string and string it through a bead that is um, popping up. And you just string it through whatever bead, it does not matter. And then when you string your string through this one, you're going to come down to the very bottom one and then string your string through this one and I'm so sorry that this is kind of crappy I just can't do this with one um, 
Probably can't see because of my hand. Okay, maybe you can see now. Um, but all I did was string my string through this top bead. Focus. And then brought my string down and strung it through this purple bead. And then now... I will take my string and string it through this purple bead. So it looks like that. You're going to do this pattern all the way through and I'm trying <laughs> oh come on finally So you're going to do all that all the way through. Obviously I won't make you sit through watching me do that because I would probably want to kill myself if that happened to me. So as you do this all the way around, hang on a second, I'm going to show you. You take string as you're going and you're going to like tighten it as you go and it'll start to make You'll just like tighten it as you go and it'll bring the beads together like that. I'll be right back and kind of show you what I mean. Okay, so um I'm trying to hold my camera. So yeah. But um as you can see with the weaving, if you pull your strings, they'll come together so as you keep weaving in and out through your top and bottom beads so like next I would string my string through that top red bead and then I just keep doing it all the way around pulling tight as I go and I will be right back to show you some more progress okay so right now I have went all the way around and now I'm at the end, which in my case, I'm coming out of a red bead up here at the bottom. And then at the top, I am I started at this red bead. So I ended on this one. All you have to do now is just tie those together. And just like pull tightly. So I will show you what I mean in a second. Okay, so... I just took my two strings and I'm just tying them like together. And as you do it, you just want to pull it as tight as you can. So your string will be coming out of like the middle of the cuff. That's okay. Just tie it like a bunch of times. It doesn't really matter how many times, just a bunch. I don't even count them. And then you take your scissors and you cut off your excess. And so now you have a tube cuff, but to make it more spiral looking, just kind of flip it and like roll it. I guess just roll it until you're satisfied with how it looks on the outside so as you can see I flipped mine like inside out I guess and I have this swirly look to it 
So, yeah, um, thank you guys for watching this tutorial, and, um, if you have any questions, or if you don't, like, understand, um, a point in the video, whether it was in the beginning when I taught you how to do the diagonal, or just in making the tube of the cuff, you get what I mean by that, <laughs> um, but yeah, just, if you have any questions or comments, or anything, or concerns, or whatever, um, I will try and answer them as best as I possibly can. So, thank you guys for watching, and hope you enjoyed this.